an opportunity arose to be the director of the Weatherall Institute. And I was particularly attracted to it because when I was training to be a medical student some 30 years ago, uh, someone gave me a small white book which was titled The New Genetics and Clinical Medicine by David Weatherall. And I was supposed to read this for an exam, but I was so riveted that I read the entire book within one evening and was convinced after reading it that this, that molecular biology would transform medicine and I wanted to be part of this. So the book that put me on my career trajectory was written by the man who founded this institute. I initially worked as an immunologist doing my PhD where I worked on a question of how cells make antibody molecules and during my postdoctoral period I was fortunate enough in being uh, in a team and contributing to discovering that the BRCA2 protein is a DNA repair protein which we now know is responsible for uh, a significant proportion of the origin of breast cancers and subsequently working from that research I chose to work on the problem of genome instability. What is it uh, that attacks our genomes in our cells and how do we fix that? And that fundamental question has been what, 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 I've been, uh, what I've been working on in my independent research career for the last 15 years. I'm interested in what is it that maintains genome integrity in our cells and a really fundamental question is what is it that, that within our cells attacks our DNA? And we came to this problem because of a rare human disease called Fanconi's anemia. And what happens is they lose their ability to produce blood and they have an enormous lifetime risk to cancer. And the question is, what is it that damages the DNA that necessitates what goes wrong in these individuals? And the answer to that is that it is a simple metabolite uh, called aldehydes. And they come in two forms, acetaldehyde, which is the byproduct of alcohol metabolism, uh, when you drink your gin and tonic in the evening and the other form is formaldehyde which you'll be most familiar as a preservative agent. Well what you may not know is that our body produces a lot of these substances every day and if it weren't for two things, enzymes that clear the, these toxins and this critical DNA repair pathway, um, the fabric of life would fall apart.